So, what exactly do you do again? Hey guys, it's me, Dr. Barbara Parks, uh, the physical therapist. You may know me on Instagram as the horse PT. Uh, I've set this video up today to kind of explain a little bit more about what I do. I get a lot of questions because people aren't used to um, seeing physical therapists work on horses. So I'll try to answer some of those questions today. Are you a vet, a chiropractor, or a massage therapist? A lot of people are curious uh, when they see that I'm a physical therapist and they don't understand if I'm a vet or a chiropractor or a massage therapist. And no, I'm not any of those. I am a physical therapist, but we do a lot of similar things that chiropractors and massage therapists do. We kind of wrap that up in a little bit of a different package. So a chiropractor works a lot with joint mobilization, manipulations. They do that quick thrust pop movement. Um, as a physical therapist, I do a lot of joint mobilizations as well, but you're less likely to get the quick pops from me. Um, and the massage therapist, they are going to go through and do a full body massage for your horse. It's fabulous. I recommend that all the time. As a PT, I do some of that as well in my treatment sessions if it's needed, but I'm more likely to focus on one area rather than massaging the whole body. What is a physical therapist? To answer that question, I'm going to start with just the textbook definition from the American Physical Therapy Association, or APTA. Um, they say that physical therapists are movement experts who optimize quality of life through prescribed exercise, hands-on care, and patient education. Physical therapists teach patients how to prevent or manage their conditions so that they will achieve long-term health benefits. So how does that translate into horses? So it really looks quite similar to what we do with people. There's a lot of stretching, there's a lot of strengthening, there's some hands-on care, and there's a lot of me teaching the client how to work with their horse to get the outcomes that they're looking for. So what's the difference between me and a chiropractor or a massage therapist? Why do I think what I am doing is so amazing? And the reason why is so, as a physical therapist, yes, I'm there, I can do the hands-on, I can do the manual therapy, but what I really want to do is work on some strengthening exercises, teach you, the owner, how to do these things so that we're preventing the problem from coming back so that you don't keep having to call me for touch-ups, for massages, and for adjustments and all of that stuff so you can be empowered to take those tools into your own hands and work with your horse, be active in their care, um, you can kind of take charge yourself and then you call me if another issue pops up or if you're stuck or if you need help and you need more ideas of how to do something. What are your credentials? When you look at my name there's a bunch of letters at the end that maybe mean nothing to you so I'm going to run through what those are. So there's PT, that means I'm a physical therapist. There's DPT, which means I got my doctorate in physical therapy. Then there's CERP, which means I'm a certified equine rehabilitation practitioner. So my DPT degree is from Belmont University. That's a three-year graduate program after undergrad. And then my CERP credentials are from the University of Tennessee at Knoxville. And that is a 60-hour online class partnered with a one-week in-person laboratory class. So that in-person lab consisted of a lot of hands-on practice with the um, manual therapy techniques that we do, and that consisted of a full body equine cadaver dissection. And that also um, included some practice with different exercises that we do. So like the balance pads that you might see or gymnastic exercises with little jumps and cavalettis, things like that. UT's CERP program is one of only two 
equine physical therapy programs in the U.S. right now. That program certifies vets and physical therapists, so the vets kind of learn the PT side of things and the physical therapists learn a little bit more about the vet side of things with that certification. So in the last year, they only certified about 25 people, so that makes me one of just a few people in the area that can do the things that I do. So the way that things are set up right now, you have to be a human physical therapist first before you can also become an equine physical therapist. And that's actually really awesome because that sets me up to be able to help people with problems they're having while they're riding. Um, I can do biomechanics evaluations and check things um, from the human's perspective that can also really be influencing how the horse moves. So sometimes people think that the horse is the problem, but then we look at the rider and we can find out that the problems that they're having are because of imbalances with the rider. What does a typical treatment session look like? So a normal treatment session, what does that look like? That's a question I get all the time because people aren't used to seeing um, equine physical therapists work. They don't know what that looks like. So I've created um, a video that kind of showcases uh, one of my clients before and after a physical therapy session and a little bit of what I did in between. So you can see the link um, to go check out that video and that will give you a little clearer picture on what it looks like. But what you would see is I'll check what they are doing before. We'll probably look at their gait and how they're moving. Um, if it's a rider issue, we'll check the rider, watch, um, watch you ride. And then we'll go a little deeper into some hands-on techniques, some exercises, and then we recheck at the end to see kind of what results we've gotten. How do I know if I need PT or how do I know if my horse needs PT? Another really common question I get is how do I know if I need physical therapy? How do I know if my horse needs physical therapy? So a lot of times I work really closely with the vets. So the vet might tell you, hey, this is something that would um, benefit from PT or your doctor might say, hey, this is something that might benefit from PT. Um, but if you're having muscle soreness, if you're having pain after riding or while riding, if your horse is resistant, um, a lot of times uh, muscle imbalances and pain issues come through with the horse as resistance to turning in one direction or resistance with uh, transitions between gates or something like that that just is a little off and the horse was really willing before and now they're not so willing. So that's kind of what might get your wheels turning that physical therapy might be a good solution. How often do I need physical therapy treatments? So another question I get is how often do I need to see you? And that answer to that is really it depends. Um, but what I tell people most of the time is we try once or twice a week for a few weeks. I really want to get you, the owner, to where you know most of the tools to work on when I'm not there so you don't need me there as often. And then I can come check in and give you ways to progress and give you new ideas once the old stuff is getting easier. But I, when I'm really in the beginning phases and having to do a lot more hands-on work, that's when you might have me out there more often. Because you will need more visits in the beginning, I've made package deals available, and you can find more information on those on my website. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any other questions, please drop them in the comments below. As I get more questions in, um, I'll try to do more follow-up Q&As like this to answer some of those. And don't forget to like and subscribe.